Hey guys, welcome to Inspired. Today is Thursday, April 11th, 2019. I am Kimiko, your host, and thank you to everyone who is joining me to watch this episode, which I have no idea which number episode it is, but yeah, thanks, whether you're new or returning. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming to watch me and listen to what I have to say. I promise I won't take too long, too much of your time. Um, if you hear any weird noises, it is very windy outside. There's a weird rattly sound happening over outside in this vicinity. So that's what that is. And it, it is also very cold out today. And it is supposed to get warmer again because it was already warm, but today was cold. Um, I am an American living and knitting in Canada in Southwestern Ontario. And yeah, I am originally from Massachusetts, Rhode Island area. And I've been living here for a while. So this is a knitting podcast, which you already know because that's why you're watching it and you haven't turned it off already. So I, as I set up the podcast, I figured, I thought, mm, I don't really have that much to show. And then I started pulling things out and I realized that I do have a lot to show. It has been a while since my last podcast. So, um, I guess I have been knitting up a storm and I actually have stuff to show for it this time. I'm sporting the lumberjack look today if you haven't noticed already yeah so let's get into the stuff that I have been knitting in no particular order um I do believe these were on the needles when on the last podcast but now they are finished and these are I believe the stripes are in Felici hopscotch and then the toes, heels, and cuffs are in Cascade in a, some sock weight yarn that I don't remember the name of or the colorway, but they're lovely and soft and yeah, they look baggy on these, man. Um, they're super cute, super stripey, and I love them. And they have the, I did the Fish Lips Kiss Heel. Super easy. If you haven't done that yet, try it. Not everybody likes it. I do. It's very easy. And my, my um, stripes match up perfectly, which is absolutely crazy to me because I really don't care if they don't match because as it is, they do match. They're the same colors. But yeah, look at how perfect that is. I didn't even do that on purpose. But as I realized it was happening, I was like, well, this is good. So I've got those. I believe that is my only finished object, um, except for some things that I'm going to show you at the end of my works in progress um, that aren't, yeah. <laughs> so what I will get into is what I've been working on feverishly lately, and the yarn I'm using is Dragon Strings, and I believe the colorway is slight Slipner. It's an 8020 Superwash Merino Nylon, and it's a sport fingering weight. So that's the name of it, Slipner, and it's Dragon Strings. They have cool, very, very cool yarn. I got this at the Woodstock Fiber Festival back in October, or September, October, around that time. And she had a tonal black yarn with little hidden specks of the rainbow inside. And it is also knit together with, this is my own, um, it's kind of a mess right now, but my own hand dyed yarn. I don't have a name for this colorway because it is just a one of a kind. I was just kind of playing around when I first started dyeing. Um, and yeah, it's just a lot of whites and blues and blacks. And then there's like yellow and red and all kinds of really fun stuff in there. It's cute. So it is the dotted raised shawl by none other than Stephen West. And I started knitting this because I saw Meg from Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits. She knit one quite a while ago and I was like, hey, that looks cute. But here it is. And I started, so the striping is my own dyed yarn and I didn't start it till over, till quite a few rows down as you can see, but I'm loving it, loving it. And it's actually getting too big for the cable right now, but that's okay. This is all the I-cord, an I-cord edge, I guess you would call it. Love this shawl. It's like I said, it's still on, it's kind of bunched up now on the needle, so it's kind of cupping in over here, but I love it. It's gonna look amazing on me, and I think pretty soon 
I'm going to switch over to this color being the solid color or the 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 um the wedges and then the the black with the um with the rainbow spots on it will be the stripes. So I am enjoying working on this, totally loving it. It's not mindless, but it's not hard at all. I can do it while watching TV. And I do have to keep notes, but I'm that kind of person. I just like to keep track of where I am. Um, but it's basically every chunk, every wedge is the same thing, just increasing. And um, But it makes for a beautiful, beautiful item, as always. I, I'm going to show you close up because you can see all the little pops of color throughout the black and it's so soft and it's because it's in garter stitch it's like squishy i love it i just stabbed myself in the neck that's great i always knew i was gonna get hurt knitting these needles are sharp so we got those two wow that was that was good um something else that i think no i definitely was working on this last podcast but i don't know if i've made any progress so you can be the judge of that this is the Rizzo Blouse by Amy Apple of Poison Girls. And this is my own hand dyed yarn. And right now it just looks like that. And it looks really wide, but it does fit. <laughs> um, however, this is my gauge swatch, but I know it fits. And I'm really not that worried. Love this yarn. I, again, I hand dyed this myself in a non-repeatable colorway, but we will talk about that later. And I love it. I haven't made much progress on it because I'm a little a little intimidated by it because I already knit it quite a bit before and I ended up having to undo the entire thing which I think was a lot more progress than this so I'm a little intimidated because if it doesn't come out this time I'm just gonna have to rip it back and be like nope that's for when I grow up and I'm just gonna put this yarn into a different project for myself because I do want it to be a sweater but I'm not grown up enough yet to handle that pattern We'll see. I don't know, but I shouldn't be too intimidated about it because it's really cute. And I mean, all I have to do is follow directions, but that is a lot for me to follow directions. So I'm so sorry. Today I am a mermaid. I'm starving. It is, um, it's a late start in the day. <laughs> it's 10, it's almost 1 15. Yeah, it's almost 1 15. And I have not eaten yet. Oh no, I'm sorry. I um I did have a bagel very, very early this morning. But I'm starving now, so I figured right now coffee would tide me over. It won't really. I never drink coffee in the middle of the day, so I figure maybe it'll like kinda confuse me. <laughs> I don't know. So um what else have I been working on? I've been working on I'm actually really committed to that dotted raised shawl right now. I want to get it finished. So that's basically all I've been working on. But I have like little projects here and there. Believe it or not, as far as I know, no, I'm lying. But let's just say I'm not. I don't have any socks on the needle. I do, but I'm not working on them right now. Um, yeah, I don't have any socks on the needle, like regular socks. I do have an idea for a new pattern. And speaking of patterns, my Three Little Voices socks did get released. They are on, um, over on Ravelry. And all my usernames, any way you can get in touch with me, is going to be down below. There's Ravelry, there's Instagram, there's a Ravelry group, there's email, um, there is Facebook. But anyway, um, yeah, I don't know if you can hear that rattling sound. Hopefully it's not picking it up. But... Anyway, like I was saying, I don't have any socks on the needles, which is so weird. But I did pick up some of this Red Heart Heart and Soul yarn. And it's a sock yarn by Red Heart. And it's very soft, surprisingly soft. And they have really cute colors. And it, they're 73% wool, 27% nylon. And I got these two colors. One is like that. It's got like blues, dark blues, grays, light blue, dark blue, gray, tan. It's called Lake House. And then this one is Purples, and it's called Victorian. Mm. Yeah, that's a little bit better, a better representation of it. They are $5.99 <laughs> for 187 yards, 50 grams. Yeah, not bad. And with these, I'm making little hand warmers for my two middle girls. 
two middle daughters. Um, yeah. So these are actually, I started on these and this one I'm ripping out from here down because I'm actually going to do a thumb gusset, which is why I started on this one. So I just wanted to do something really simple. Um, I, I know how to do a thumb gusset. I don't know why I just did the hole, which it looks fine. And I was just going to add on to it and pick up stitches. But like, why do that when I can just do a thumb gusset and it looks much nicer. They do fit my hands, but my daughters are 13 and almost 16. So they're, they're, um, they're, yeah, they'll fit. They might be a little baggy, but they can grow into them. Um, I hope, but I wanted to, um, send them some gifts because, um, they do not live here and I'm not actually going to get into it on YouTube. Not even going to talk about it, but if you're curious, I'll talk about, I will, you can ask me and I will definitely talk about it with you, but I'm not going to talk about it here. So yeah, I wanted to send them some gifts. Um, and I thought these would be nice. So I'm not sure which, who's getting which color. Maybe they can duke that out between themselves, but I just thought it'd be something nice to send to them in the mail and to make them because why not? <laughs> you know, I would love to get something from my mom. Um, anyway, so another project I've been working on, but I did put it aside for a little while, is the Om Shawl by Andrea Maori. And the reason I put it, I'm looking for it right now. Where are you? There you are. The reason I put it away for a while was because I ran out of the yarn, the main color yarn. And um, I got this yarn, it's all Cascade 220 Heathers, and I got it at the, like also at the Woodstock Fiber Festival back in October or September. And I just recently went to a new to me yarn store. It's quite a hike for me, but anything here is a hike. Like I talked about before, I live in the middle of nowhere. So this store was probably a solid 35 minutes, maybe more, but it's super cute. It's called the Little Red Mitten and it was recommended to me by a friend who has been there. And it's uh, in a house with all of these rooms like full of yarn. It's insane. I'm super jealous of the lady that owns it. So she did have this. This was my main color and she had it and I will resume that project again. Um, yeah, see this one has the name of it, River Rock. I had to go by the, my other, I had to, I renamed all my colors, but my other band didn't have a name on it. This one does, so I don't know. But anyway, that is going into the Om Shawl by Andrea Maori. I just realized I still have the Raina Shawl and guess what? I haven't finished it. I have a little bit left on it. I still haven't finished it. I promised I would, but I didn't. Um, the Om Shawl by Andrea Maori is right here and probably as it was last time it is mid is, what in the world is happening here it's mid row I believe it looks like it because I ran out look I ran out that's all I had left anyway this is it and this is gonna be ridiculous so I can't wait to block it out so it's all the same and this isn't so squishy right here because that's the color work and these are all one two three four the first four panels are textured and then this is color work and then this is textured and it's gonna have buttons on it and it's absolutely absolutely gorgeous and amazing and it is in size uh, tens I think US 10 needles. We'll just go with that. I think they're US size 10s or 10.5s. So it's in a worst weight yarn. So it's, um, to me, it's very loose and it's very thick, thick yarn because I usually do fingering weight yarn. But it, dra it, it drapes really nice. So that's fine. Sorry, I'm like choking on coffee or something. Sorry. Um, yeah, so I can't wait to work on that again, but I think I'm going to wait until I completely finish the dotted raised shawl because I feel like my mind is getting way too jumbled up, um, with too many projects. I am in project finishing mode right now, just in that mode, even though I have 10 million projects going on and I have absolutely no business starting something new, but what do I do? I start new projects. I start new projects all the time. I'm looking around. What else do I have? 
Speaking of projects that need to be finished, I actually took this one out because I've been talking about this little guy for a while and he's been in a timeout. I call it a he, but it, maybe it's a she. I've, she's been in a timeout for a while. It has been in a timeout for quite some months though. And if you watch the podcast, you'll know what I'm talking, you'll, you'll remember this little guy. And um, I keep talking about uh, finishing it up. And I wasn't gonna take it out, but I saw it and I'm like, you know what, if I take it out, maybe it will inspire me to finish it soon. Again though, what, this is one of those projects that I have extensive notes on, so it, it's, I don't want it to be too jumbly in my head. And it's, it's mid, it's like just a big mess because my cables aren't even big enough. But let's see if I can get this. Oh, just touching it makes me feel happy. I put so much work into this thing. I don't even know what to show you. This is the Speckle and Pop from Stephen West, the Speckle and Pop knit along. <laughs> it looks absolutely ridiculous right now. Like, seriously, guys, this is what it looks like. And you, can you hear and see all the, all the stitch markers? Like, all of the stitch markers in the world are here. Seriously. This is gonna be my cover photo. I don't even know. There's some really great stitch markers here that I miss. I miss. I need you guys back. But this thing's amazing. Look at it. Just look at it. Oh, I have to finish this. These are my own hand dyed yarns. Um, wait a minute. I think the one in the middle is not my own and I have no idea. I'll have to go back and see. I don't know, but I, you know what? I'm glad I took it out because now I can hold myself accountable to it. It is amazing. I love it. I can't wait to wear this thing. Like I gotta get on the ball here and get that thing finished. Cause that's gorgeous. So those are all the knitted things I've been working on lately. I'm sorry to sip in front of you. I hate that. I hate eating in front of people or drinking in front of people. Um, and I don't particularly like to see other people doing it either. So I really apologize about that, but my coffee's gonna get cold and I really don't wanna edit this video. So I'm just gonna do it and just go with it. Um, so I was commissioned by a friend who was having a baby, um, a friend slash acquaintance, we're more acquaintances, but you know, whatever, we talk, we message each other a lot. And she commissioned me she's having a baby soon to make basically little booties for her son. So I've been playing around a little bit and I made these kind of hard to see. I don't like, I'm not crazy about the little lace on it, but the lace can be taken off, but they're kind of like a little, just a little booty. And um, they're adorable. She thinks they're amazing. And then I kind of was playing around a little bit more. I'm, st I'm trying to perfect the pattern because I don't crochet. I'm not a great crocheter. Um, so I was kind of playing around a little bit. Like taking other patterns and making my own. These ones like are to die for. So they're adorable. They're so very Canadian. <laughs> and then I also made, I, don't, I know she doesn't watch this podcast, so I made this for him too. Just a little newborn hat with a little tie at the top. <clears throat> so kind of been working around, playing around on that kind of stuff. Other things I have been playing around with is this beauty in some embroidery. And it's still, I'm not quite done with it, but that is a little vintage trailer. And I still have to do the wheels and I don't have any black embroidery floss, so I really want to like black and gray for that. Um, but mostly it's done, and when I am done with it, it's going in a, a round frame that is going to be either like an aqua color or black because my walls are light gray. See, that's a, like, it's a very light gray, almost a white color, and um, I just want it to pop a little bit, so I thought that would look really cute in here. Doop. It needs some artwork on the very few walls that I do have, but I need some color in here. I thought that was super cute and I'm doing another one too, but it's not even close. Like I barely started it, so I don't want to show it until it's almost done. 
yeah, that was fun. My daughter was watching me play, um, play with it. She was watching me sew it and she was very interested in it and she wants me to make up some kind of kit for her. Um, she's almost five. She'll be five at the end of this month. And um, I don't know if she's ready for that. What do you guys think? I, I don't know. I'm not sure. But she wants to sew. I guess she could pull the, the needle in and out of the fabric. I guess she could do that. Why not? Um, oh, while I was at that, um, that new to me, new to me yarn store called the Little Red Mitten, I picked up these guys. So random. Knitter's Pride Zing US 9 5.5 millimeter double pointed needles. Um, I have some sock, sock size needles. I want to say they're like US size 1.5. And um, I know I really like them. So I don't have any size 9 DPNs and I have a size 9 circular needle. So I figured, hey, if I do a hat that has a chunkier yarn, I'm going to need these. I'll try. Why not? So random though. Like They've been in the package for like a, a month. No, not a month. I don't know. A few weeks. They're heavy because they're so big. <laughs> they're so thick. It's crazy. Yeah. And then, so I did talk about my dyeing a little bit. I haven't done too much, but I don't know what I showed you last time. So I have a few in my Etsy shop, which is Sorella Knit Co. Um, this is Flower Child. I don't know how many I have left. But yeah. So this is Flower Child. Um, this, honestly, I, the name of it is a complete blank right now. Complete blank. I have no idea why, but you can check out sorellanitco.etsy.com. You'll have, that information is below, but there's, a, I think there's four of these in the shop. This is a one of a kind and it's called Number One Crush, I think. I'm having a complete mind blank right now. I have to update some stuff and just um, get reacquainted with my lovely yarn. Unfortunately, this is one of a kind because I really like it. I might be able to recreate it. I don't know. Um, that's another flower child. This is, guys, I apologize. I don't know the names of these colors. You'll have to check out my Etsy shop. I love this though. Oh my gosh, I love it. There's those. Some more nameless colors that I just showed you. This is a one of a kind. And I believe it's called Juice, but I might be wrong. And this is a one of a kind, and I think this is called Dancing Bears. But again, I also might be wrong. And it is not a self striping, none of them are. And then there's these two which I love these two. Don't ask the names. I don't know. Why would I know? Why would I know the names of my own colorways? I should have uh, maybe checked that out before. It's been a while since I've looked at them. And I know this one is called Hippocrest. There's four of these. I love this color. And then I believe this is called Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. That was my first one the first one that actually came into the world. And that is it. Um, I do have a couple more that I'm working on and I am gonna have to leave the camera but I'm not editing, so bear with me. So you know the Rizzo blouse that I was showing you in the colorway that I said I couldn't repeat in the pink? Well, I tried and I played around a little bit but I didn't play around too much because it turns out that I was able to semi repeat it. And now I definitely know how to repeat it because I took notes on it. But so this is the skein I had to take it. This was um, the original Rizzo blouse that I had to frog completely. So that's the original color. And then that <laughs> is the one I came up with. See, it's still tied. It's not even in the shop yet. That is the one I, I recreated and I'm really happy with it. I kind of want to call it Strawberry Fields, but it doesn't officially have a name yet. Um, if someone has any ideas for it, let me know. Sorry, there's still a string holding it together, but it's not even skeined right. <laughs> but that is one of them. I think I have four skeins. But I am so happy with it because I really like the pink with the speckles on it, like the with the deeper pink speckles. I'm really happy with that. 
so yeah there's all that I have like a it, it's a lot of yarn right here like a whole mound of my own hand dyed yarn so I will be working on some more now that the weather is getting nicer because um, if you follow me you know that I live in an RV and there's not a lot of room here my studio is basically a little like three two foot three foot by three foot table with a burner on it I don't have any room at all we have a limited amount of water coming in so I don't use that water for dyeing I have to have my own um, jugs of water that I carry in so it's not exactly convenient um, in the summer I will be dying outside it'll make things a lot easier we will probably end up getting um, some office space for that but don't quote me on it um, but I am definitely gonna be do doing some more dying soon just because it is so much fun um, I would love to turn it into a business I don't know like a like a real business but um, Right now it's just for fun. Um, I've had a few sales and you know, it's, it's great. <laughs> I don't know. Shipping sucks though. So I understand that people don't want to, to, um, do the whole shipping thing. I did kind of play around with the shipping a little bit, but it really, it really does suck. So either end somebody's losing out. I'd rather I lose out so that you can get the yarn that you want, but you know, I'm, I'm still, I'm just starting out now and just kind of figuring stuff out, but I'm just looking around to see if there's anything else that I haven't showed you, but I think I've showed you everything. Um, as far as life stuff, not much has been going on lately, just kind of trying to survive the winter, which we did. Like, I feel like winter flew by and I do not like winter. I should have moved to Florida. I don't know why I married someone in Ontario besides that he's awesome and I love him, but we don't like winter. We hate winter. He's from Canada and he hates winter. We hate winter. We're not outdoorsy people except for summer. Like I like to sit outside and we like the campfires and stuff, but we survived winter. It did seem to fly by. Maybe that's because the outdoors, I'm looking at my sliding doors right there, the outdoors is right there and like, I don't know, we, we've been busy too, maybe that has something to do with it, but we survived winter and we're really happy about that and we only have, I believe, one more winter here, actually, we only have one more winter here, I promise you that, <laughs> um, not staying here forever, it was always meant to be temporary and it has served us well so it was one of the best decisions we've ever made but um yes we have been very busy now that the nicer weather is here my husband rebuilt our um fire pit we had a like a metal campfire the kind that you see at campgrounds it's like a metal wheel like from a truck or something i don't know we were using that on the ground um so it was kind of a small it would only you could only have small fires in there and it was kind of rotting out because we've had 10 million fires in there so there's a lot of demo work going on at my brother's at my brother-in-law's house so we took the well my husband took this the cement blocks and he rebuilt a fire pit throughout the metal thing rebuilt the fire pit and it's bigger and it's um have uh it's deeper now so you can put way more wood inside and i bought him a um, is it a circular saw it's like a hand DeWalt, the DeWalt brand, like a circ I guess it's a circular saw, but you use it with your hand um, to cut. It's a, yeah, it's a circular saw. It's a circle. I bought him that for one of his anniversary gifts because our anniversary was in March, at the end of March, and he's been cutting up some demo wood, and we've been having some wonderful fires, and um, I can't wait to have another one because it's been a few, it's, I think it's been a week since we've had a fire because it's been so cold though. Um, yeah. So, yeah, we've just been living life. We just did, like I said, we did just celebrate our anniversary. We've been married for six years now. Six very strange years. <laughs> Let's just say that. But, um, I mean, look at us right now. We're living in an RV. We just, we're not normal, traditional people. What can I say? So we ended up going to Niagara Falls for our anniversary, which was amazing. Um, neither of us have been there. We weren't on Niagara Falls and we weren't on Niagara on the lake, but we were very close by and we took a we did a Groupon deal and we took a helicopter ride over the region of Niagara, the Niagara region. So we got to see the falls like right above them. My husband had never been in a plane or 
neither of us have ever been in a helicopter and it was amazing it was so cool if you can ever do that it's a little pricey but it was totally worth it it was our anniversary we've never gone away for our anniversary like we did not have our daughter with us and it was totally worth it if you can ever do that I highly recommend it I even got a little nervous at first because it's shaky it's not like being in a plane not at all you can almost see all the way around you like below you in front above it's not like just one little window outside your when you're sitting on an airplane it's completely different plus it's loud and you had to wear like the headphones to talk to each other there's like a little microphone right there and it was amazing we got some great video my husband has a really nice phone so we took some really great videos some HD videos it's like better than I can even see and um, so I'd like to put together a video to show um, what it was like it's kind of the experience is not the same but if you can ever take a helicopter ride for some scenic thing or like a romantic thing or for friends or whatever I highly recommend it and since we were in Niagara Falls there's wineries everywhere which we did not go to we went to Skyline Tower but it was really cold and really windy so that was kind of a very expensive elevator ride to the top of a building but whatever we have never been there we didn't really know what to what to do. We didn't walk into any casinos. We didn't go to any, um, like any shopping. <laughs> we didn't do any of that stuff. We only had two days. Um, so we, yeah, I mean, we didn't know we went to some shopping. Yeah, we did. It was just, it was fun. There's a lot of wine. <laughs> we drank a lot of wine, which was pretty cool. The hotel was great. They gave us a bottle of wine because it was our anniversary. It was just a really nice time, a really nice hotel. It was just nice to get away. Um, and then, so the next thing we have coming up is at the end of May is my brother, my, my brother, my husband's youngest brother is getting married. So there's been all the, the bridal showers and all the parties and all that stuff going on. And my husband and I and our daughter are all in the wedding. So my husband's brother, we were at their house this weekend. We stayed with them. And he, his brother gave him his um, groom's gift this weekend, which was a really nice curation of some very thoughtful items that really, um, it, like, it, it was things that my husband likes. Just, they were things that were just very well thought out. He, I think my brother-in-law did a really good job. But one of the things, so we stayed there at their house this weekend, but one of the things that he got him, and we played this game, the four of us, my my future sister-in-law, my brother-in-law, my husband and myself, is this game called These Cards, I'm reading it backwards, These Cards Will Get You Drunk. So we drink, and that's no surprise, we're adults, we drink. We were drinking, like I had wine, my sister-in-law and I had a couple of mixed drinks, but I don't really like fruity drinks, I don't like sweet stuff. And um, this is getting really cold, I'm trying to chug it. But they were, it was fun to kind of change it up a little bit and um, drink those fruity drinks, those girly drinks, as I call them. And then the guys were drinking, I don't know what the guys were drinking. So it wasn't really like we were taking shots when you do the, I can't even describe the game. Um, we weren't taking shots every time you were supposed to, we were just kind of drinking, but it was so much fun. And um, I, I, the only thing I could, com the only thing I could compare it to is Cards Against Humanity. But it's not like that at all. It's not played the same way. It's one card at a time. And you just, the, reading the cards will tell you how to play the game. That's all you have to do. The rules are simple. Moving clockwise, take turns drawing from the deck and reading each card out loud. Follow the instructions on, on each card to determine who has to drink. Um, prepare to compete, vote, and screw your friends over in this hilarious game, Happy Drinking. And oh my goodness, this game, I definitely recommend it for like a an icebreaker or like just hanging out at home with friends or whatever. So much fun if you can find them. I definitely recommend them. It was fun. So besides that, life stuff, just life is going on and we are keeping busy and I'm watching TV shows. Nothing really exciting. There's a few movies I want to see, but I feel like the there's a huge shortage of movies out. I don't I don't really go to the movies much anyway. I would really like to, but I don't just I don't think there's anything good out. I feel like I've watched Netflix completely. Like there's nothing else on it that I want. Excuse me. I am so sorry.
I am so sorry. You you know how I feel about this. I will finish this up. Okay, that is done. I have my caffeine. Not that I needed it. I don't really care. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, movies. Yeah, I wish there were some good movies. So if you have any recommendations for good movies or TV shows, please let me know. I'm currently watching on Netflix Shameless. Uh, it's bad. <laughs> like, but it's funny. Um, you know, I watch inappropriate stuff. That's just me. So yeah, that's what I've been watching currently, but it's not, I wouldn't recommend it for anybody who's going to get offended. And it's definitely not family friendly or child friendly. Not that I watch anything for myself in front of my daughter because four-year-olds don't allow you to do that. <laughs> you have to watch their shows. Um, anyway, so I think I'm going to end it on that and hopefully get to um, podcast again soon because I plan on having some stuff finished, but I showed you all my stuff today and I hope you guys are knitting and happy and enjoying the spring weather coming. Chances are you have better weather than we do, although it's it's been pretty mild here. So um, yeah, I will talk to my phone soon and you can see that video, but I hope you enjoyed this one. <laughs> right. I don't know. See ya.